All right, so this morning KSLA is joined by Louisiana Republican Senator Dr. Bill Cassidy. Thank you so much for coming on again. We it's good to be with you. Yeah. Thank you. We got a lot of stuff to talk about in the state, but just want to get your thoughts on the presidential election. RFK Jr. now endorsing former President Trump. Your thoughts on how that might shake up the race? It may help a little bit because on the margin, there's some folks who didn't like the fact that President Trump was all about the COVID vaccine until he wasn't. And so they're suspicious about the vaccine and RFK was more consistent on that. Uh, not commenting on it, just pointing it out. I think the big thing though is right now women are shifting to Vice President Harris. And I think that the former president, President Trump, has got to figure out how does he appeal to women. Uh, that seems to be the dynamic right now. Wow. All right. Let's talk about you and uh, Louisiana Governor Jeff Landry just announced the launch of Gumbo 2.0. Can you explain that to our viewers? Oh, yes. Uh, our state's getting $1.35 billion from the infrastructure bill to make sure that everyone has access to high speed, affordable Internet. Mm -hmm. This is a game changer. Uh, last week, I met a guy in Livingston Parish, SouthernBoysBoyzOutdoors.com. And he's got a, like a, a 2.7 million Facebook followers. And he does these little short videos on how to cook Louisiana food. Mm. He sells more jambalaya mix online than any other company, including Zatarans. Now, this is out of his own home using social media. Having access to Internet has made that happen. That can take someone in, Steve, you tell me you're from Allen Parish, someone in Allen Parish, and it can make them into an international entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. If you could tell me how to do it, I'll, I'll take it. So. <laughs> you look, at his, but look at his video, and of course, he sits around and thinks about it all the time. But the point is that it's not just that, it's the farmer who can use it to make their farming more efficient. Mm -hmm. Internet can change our economy. $1.35 billion coming from the infrastructure bill to make that happen. What are some specifics that it's going to fix? Is this going to bring more broadband to like local schools and rural areas? What so, so schools and rural areas should have already had some of that from uh, the COVID funding that went okay. out. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but think about um, uh, the small neighborhood uh, in Richland Parish or in uh, Webster Parish who doesn't have uh, high speed internet. They will have it just as fast if it's in Bossier or if it's in, in, in Shreveport. All right, let's talk about the, the money that you were able to secure. You know, uh, our uh, senators and representatives are up in D.C. fighting for us. You were able to secure money for the Shreveport Airport, Regional Airport, and the Downtown Airport. Yeah, that's coming from the infrastructure bill as well. Okay. It's almost $4 million coming to the Shreveport Regional Airport. Uh, uh, I think uh, 450000 coming to the Downtown Airport. Okay. Now, now your airport is like... Somebody flies into your city, they're thinking about investing, that airport is the first impression. Now, you want it to be safe, you want it to be uh, a smooth landing, mm -hmm. uh, you want to have a nice facility. The more we can improve that first impression, the more likely we may have that kind of investment. And so, again, safety, but also how do we present Northwest Louisiana? That's important. This is a story that I was doing back like nine, ten years ago, the windfall elimination program. Oh, yeah, man. What's the latest with that and how that could that help uh, Social Security? So for, for, so, uh, so for folks who don't know about this, if you're a state or local worker, uh, you don't pay into social while you're working for the state, Social Security, but then you go out and you work for 20 years in the private sector and you pay into social. You should get a little bit of a decreased benefit. Turns out you get a huge decrease in benefit. It really over penalizes those workers. I'm working to repeal it uh, as part of an overall effort to rescue Social Security. The Social Security Trust Fund goes insolvent in seven years. When that happens, there's a 20% benefit cut for everyone on social, everyone who will be. Wow. We repeal that, we repeal that, but we also repeal uh, weapon GPO. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can get this done next Congress. We've been working on it for about three or four years now. We could have got it done this, this, this Congress, but President Biden didn't want to do it next Congress. All right, Senator Cassidy, thanks so much. We appreciate it. <laughs> Excuse Bless me. You. It happens <laughs> to me all the time. Thank Good you. to see you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're back in a moment. <laughs>